Okay, hey everyone, welcome back. Sam here. Uh, in this video today, we're going to go through kind of how to set up an LLC in Florida in six concrete steps. And I know setting up an LLC can seem kind of fairly intimidating regardless of the state that you're doing it in, um, just because there is a good amount of things to remember to do right. Um, and messing up just one of these things can be fairly easy. You know, whether it's setting up an operating agreement wrong or not quite, you know, really understanding the purpose of a registered agent and different things along those lines, plenty of places to go wrong for sure. But that's kind of the purpose of this video and we've done other LLC formation videos, but it's really just to go step by step here, at least for the state of Florida. Um, and a lot of this video, again, could apply for other states just to make note of that. So let's get into these six steps, starting with the first one, and honestly, a very important one, uh, determining your business type. I know, crazy that actually determining if it an LLC will be right for you or even what you're looking for is first on this list. But likely, if you're watching this video, then you're already aware that an LLC is what you want. But it's important to note that there are other options kind of like out there with sole proprietorship, S corporations, and more kind of accompanied with all the other processes uh, for each of those in certain states. But the first step is definitely just kind of being sure that an LLC is actually what you want and you've done your homework on all the other options. And it seems like it should go without being said, but here I am saying it. Now, step number two is naming your LLC. So in Florida, there are a couple different things to keep in mind while kind of going through this process. You likely just can't draw a name out of the hat or pick the first name that comes to the top of your head because it has to meet certain criteria and kind of checks. Basically, it needs to be a business name that is not already being used in the state of Florida. So what that means is you can't really try to start a company called Starbucks as your own coffee brand because well, there's already a company out there that has named that and doing that. And the easiest way of if you're kind of safe or not um, is every state has a website where you can search if a name is taken or not. So here we are, uh, Florida Department of State, just kind of entity names, and you can search for corporations, LLCs, limited partnerships, and trademarks by name here. And this is just gonna be a really good check just to make sure you're not overlapping or anything like that. So kind of for this purpose here, um, you'd want to use kind of this entity name search bar here. And like I said, if you type in Starbucks and you search now, there's going to be plenty of lists there. Corporation, billiards, coffee and company. Uh, you likely can't use Starbucks. But if we go back and we try big, uh, big, delicious uh, coffee and you give it a search, looks like you might be good here. There's not really any records of it here. It looks just like a bunch of designs or enterprises and stuff like that. So there's no records here, so you're likely safe. It's a good way just to kind of be sure your name is unique enough so you're not running the risk of being rejected on your application. Um, and, and that site is kind of a good way of doing that. And again, every state will have its own version. Now, that's just kind of one way to assist you in naming your business, but I would also recommend using the US Federal Trademark Search as a resource as well. And this will just kind of help you avoid things like potential lawsuits. If there's an incredibly similar business to yours, um, it could just help save you a potential headache in the future. So to do that, you're over in the database here. You'll click uh, search system up here. Again, if we try Starbucks up here, you know, give it a search. A lot of stuff will come up. You can filter on the left over here for live or dead, you know, canceled, abandoned, pending or registered. So you can filter that again. Starbucks coffee, Starbucks, 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 Starbucks. A lot of different ones are registered here. But if we go back up and we try big delicious coffee and we go over here, uh, big Delicious, Big Coffee, Big Delicious brand. Uh, there's different variations, but you'd likely be fine, I imagine. Um, but again, this is really just kind of another database that would be good to look at and check uh, before you waste time and money on an application and trying to register, especially with naming your business, just to end up falling under a possible trademark issue. So on to step number three, and that is to find a registered agent. And of course, if you all want some help with a registered agent or even you know a start to finish assistance with kind of the formation of an LLC, uh, we have partnered with Northwest Registered Agent. If you want to utilize them as a resource, uh, it will be a link below just to kind of save time and make sure it's done correctly 
and utilize a great registered agent as well. Anyways, now you have a name, you will also need a registered agent, which is basically someone who is at a physical location within the state during business hours to take mail and things like that for any potential lawsuits or other business needs. And you can use your house as this. Uh, I say can very loosely because this is now going to be public knowledge, meaning when someone searches your business and you wanna use your house in place of this, uh, they will have access to your home address, which can get dicey, or maybe you just want that separated privacy. And no, I know what you're thinking, you cannot just use a PO box or a mailbox or anything like that. It has to be an actual physical location with someone actually there during business hours. So if you're like a lot of people, you will likely opt to pay a registered agent for this service. So on to step number four, and this is creating uh, and submitting articles of organization. And this may differ per state, but for Florida, there are forms you just kind of have to fill out with all your information on your company, like listed here. But again, there are services that offer to do all of this for you, like Northwest Registered Agent. So you can opt to have them help you with that too, so you're not missing anything and you actually do it correctly. Okay, we're getting through a lot of these, but step number five is creating an operating agreement. Again, likely can be done with the services that I mentioned, but it essentially just outlines who owns the company, what percentage of the company. It outlines you know, terms and different life events or scenarios. And it's really especially helpful, I think, for just who owns the company if there are different sales or equity splits and things like that. Now, it's technically not mandatory in Florida or even in a lot of states, but still highly recommended just kind of for the added benefit and outlining um, of the operating terms of your new LLC. Now, to do this, you can use a service, obviously, um, but there are templates and stuff online you can use, but just make sure it's thorough and says what you actually want it to say. Uh, you could go to a local lawyer as well, but they probably will likely just do the same things, just kind of pay for you know a template and just plug your info into it. And finally, step number six is to get an EIN or an employer identification number. So it's a nine digit code provided by the Internal Revenue Service to kind of recognize your LLC for taxation. And you can get this via mail or online from the IRS. Uh, very plainly speaking, this is the equivalent of a social security number for your new LLC. Again, using a service like Northwest Registered Agent, they will do this for you and kind of walk you through the process. But if not, you can also apply on irs.gov. It's fairly easy and relatively simple, I believe. And so those are kind of the six steps. But for this last part of the video, I wanted to just kind of walk you through the features of how to get start with something or some service like Northwest Registered Agent. Again, we are gonna leave the link below, but I think it would be good to see just kind of how it can make your life a bit easier. Okay, so here we are, Northwest Registered Agent. This is really just for the agent service. Uh, looks like it's $125 a year. We're gonna go click uh, Florida right there. Cool, get started. Awesome. You're gonna go through all this. Where do you want this service? You can choose the different states. You have the total over here. Um, again, there's more states on here because I've been doing this for a few states. Um, company, big delicious coffee, of course. Your contact information, your account information, you will have to create an account. Business identity, they will kind of provide you with you know, a website, business email address, a business phone, and it's a free 90 day trial. And then of course, any optional items like mail forwarding, a uh, virtual office, a trademark service you can add as well. And then of course, the payment information. That's just kind of the registered agent part of it. Um, Northwest also offers the full kind of LLC service I was talking about. So here, start an LLC, you just go down again, select your state, where are we at? We're at Florida. Awesome, it'll kind of go through things, business name, all of that. Uh, skip and decide later. Uh, office address. You can use their address. Obviously, this is kind of where, you know, registered agent might come into play. Mailing address. Again, registered agent. Add the professional service. Um, organizer. Again, 
hire them to file for you, but you can kind of go through it all. Name your Florida LLC, uh, appoint a registered agent, articles of organization, operating agreement. Again, everything we kind of talked about in this video. And again, this service is honestly just nice because it's all in one place. They just walk you through it kind of, you know, hand in hand. Uh, they stand in your place as a registered agent as well as kind of the other services uh, for filing or forwarding and all of that. But really kind of just a one stop all place to make sure you do it right the first time um, when starting an LLC in Florida. And that's really quite it, just six steps. And using a resource like that or just doing it on your own manually, uh, there are things and resources out there to help you in this process. And I kind of hope this video was one of them. So I hope you did enjoy it um, and I will see you in the next one.